Marcus Harris also looking to press his claims for test status as uh, McAndrew starts right on line. And a little inside edge there. Tall Manfield in the second innings with a bit of a back problem. Oh, that's a good one. He's caught behind. So Wicket with his second delivery and a good catch there immediately for Alex Carey back in the side for the home team. And the Vicks in early trouble, one for one. He prepares to face Agar. Oh, edges, and as he caught behind, he is. So two in seven balls for Agar. Not a good shot from Marcus Harris there, chasing a wide one. And the Vicks are two for four, Coops. Works that one away nicely. That'll run away fine for four. So no uh, pat on that. All bat. And it races down to the short side of the ground. Cuts. And that will go all the way to the boundary, I think. Even with the slow outfield, it's slowed right down. But um, he got a good piece of that. And uh, both the point and gully fielders. Oh, and that is out. That's superbly bowled by Doggett. Pekoski's just hung the bat out and that's gone straight into the slips cordon and he'll be furious with himself, Pekoski. See all these, these players coming out saying how much they've in, enjoyed one day cricket again and... Oh, that's etched. Has that been... That has been taken. He's just standing there looking. He can't believe it. 4.35. And he gets that one out through cover, Coops. That's a lovely shot. The outfield a bit quicker out that side. And a boundary for the young left-hander. Nicely played. McAndrew again. Goes on the hook this time. That's a good shot. Got hold of that very nicely. It's gone all the way. So he saw the short one, and he's gone, bang it. I'm going to hit it to the short boundary. It's gone all the way for six. Good shot. Oh, he's had a swing at that. That's gone way over the slips and down to third man for four runs. It was worth a swing. It was a... Very short ball. Anything on it was really going to travel, wasn't it? Drives, and uh, that will go away down to the third man boundary for four. That was a lovely shot there from Sutherland. Oh, he's back on line there, and he's taken the wicket. Well, there's a reply for you. Will Sutherland has gone, caught at second slip. I think that's a top edge. Yeah. It's going down for four. That's a lovely shot played through the covers. I think that's going to go for four. Carter can't get there to cut that off. So, beautiful shot there from Harper. Of that sort of thing just at the moment. Doggett continues. And he's on the pull. That's a six. Good shot. Into the members. Beautifully played. Saw it was short. Hopped straight into it. And another half a dozen for the Vicks, which they'd be very happy about. They moved to five for 89. And firmly punched away through the covers for four more. So back-to-back -back boundaries, a six and a four. The conditions suddenly a little bit brighter for the Vicks. Here's Agar again, three wickets for him. And on the drive, he loves that shot to Sam Harper, and he's punched that away into the gap. So the boundary's flowing here for the Victorian wicketkeeper. And he's moving along very nicely here at the moment. The Vic's going well. See on your screen there. On the driving length and Harper. We've seen that three or four times in this innings. Beautifully punched down the ground. The 100 up for Victoria. Five down. So they're recovering well here from early trouble at four for 29. An empty. A bit too much leg side. He's dealt with beautifully by Harper. Pulls it around the corner. Down towards the, uh, the mound end of the ground. And a boundary. Yep. Nice ball the over. That's more like it. He drives it and he punches that beautifully. So Harper in a real vein of form here. The run's flowing off his bat. Ten off the over. He moves to 42. For all, everyone's presence today, it's been a good fun day. Once we finally got going. Oh, he hits that well. Touch of class here from Campbell Callaway. The run's flowing here for Victoria. Some good batting here at the moment. Tommy Cooper and... Uh, it's that pass cover... That'll be his 50. He's played well. Sam Harper uh, races out towards the boundary for three. So Harper moves to a half century, and it couldn't have come at a better time for the Victorian wicketkeeper as he raises his bat. Oh, he's played that gorgeously through forward of point, and that will go for four runs. So once again, too much width and probably a bit short there from Menenti. 
He's pulled that away. That's just a bit short from McAndrew, and that's gone to the mid-wicket boundary for runs. If he's pulled that, that's going all the way by the look of it, is it? Yes. And that's six runs. That's beautifully struck there by Harper. Oh, he's got on top of that one as well. He's just lifted that up. And that's another six to Harper. He's absolutely belting them. Oh, he smacked that down the ground. He's just absolutely going for it. McAndrew looks like he'd rather be anywhere else than here. Oh, and he's lifted that one up again. That's another six. That's huge. That's way back into the Sir Donald Bradman Pavilion. And he's gone again. That's going to be four. I don't know that it's going to go all the way. It's hard to see. It's getting pretty dark here, actually. And the one person that can see the ball like an absolute basketball is Sam Harper. The, the umpire's not sure at the moment, I don't think. Oh, and he smashed that. That's back over mid-off, and that'll go down to the boundary oh for my gosh. four. Six, I believe. Oh, six. <laughs> six. <See, I> <laughs> 95 not out. And he goes bang, and it is over the top. Has it gone all the yes, way? Yes, I think it, it might have. What a shot to bring up your 100. The third fastest ever in the history of Sheffield Shield cricket. Just 63 balls, six sixes, 11 fours. He's got Victoria out a lot of trouble in what's been a history-making innings. Apparently, Shield Games were not allowed to have them on. A good update there in the background from Julia. Thank you. Seems silly, though. We can't put them on. But anyway, mm. another over rolls by. Pretty tight stuff there from Dogger to Maiden. He's had a good day. 12 overs, 2 for 45. And the uh, drink's being run out and some gloves. It might be a little message forthcoming here. The umpire's now having a bit of a discussion mm. out in the centre, and I think they're going to debate. It might be time.